uh, what the heck? Where did you guys come from? I posted this expecting just a handful of people to look at it. Not this many. What the, the heck? Anyways, hello, hello, welcome back. Welcome to part two of my Melanie Pony redesigns. Fun fact, I started on all of these at the end of January, finished all but one, and I was like, ooh, I'm just going to go to bed and finish it in the morning. Woke up, and my pony hyperfixation was dead, and I never finished it. These have been sitting on my computer for a whole month. No worries, I have returned, and I finished up the last design, and we meet again. Thank you so much for the love on the last one. I appreciate all of your kind comments and support. Well, with that being said, let's just climb on in. First character up is Spike. Uh, I actually started on a redesign before this one. You can see it right next to him. I guess it was more of a, a concept I had before I was like not feeling it. I don't know. I stared at it for like an hour and was like, mm, I'm not down for this. So, uh, I tried again. <laughs> Spike was my least favorite character when I was a kid. Anytime he talked on screen, I rolled my eyes. And if there was an episode directed, like, about him, I would just skip it. I wouldn't even watch it. Like, I used to come home off the bus and watch My Little Pony episodes. And if it was about him, I would literally watch anything else. I would switch it over to the news. Like, I'm, I'm not watching an episode about him. Uh, <laughs> I think... I think he kind of just reminded me of an annoying cousin. Like, it was pretty bad. I remember writing My Little Pony fanfiction, and he was never even mentioned or included. Like, I just completely... His existence was forgotten about me. Uh, so in this alternate universe, he's actually Twilight's bodyguard slash assistant that takes the shape of a tiny dragon, but he's actually a very big dragon. He can't talk. He communicates a lot through sign language. Did I do this just so I wouldn't have to give him dialogue because I hated when he talked? Mm, the world may never know. I think the reason I scrapped the first concept I had, which is the one with the more green beside him, that's the original Spike concept. So if you like it and you don't like this one, my bad. But I think the original is just didn't match that My Little Pony style. It looked more roundish and that's not what I was going for. So I went back to the drawing board and did this. realize until uh after researching discord that he is actually a species like his species has a name i i just thought he was a screwed up love child of two different species but you know what even if he isn't that's what i'm gonna do anyways so i've changed it up completely i've just i've just rewrote it uh before celestia was queen she had a romantic teenage romance with a dragon that, uh, unfortunately, just like most teenage romances, didn't work out. Celestia became pregnant and gave birth to a monstrous baby, half alicorn and dragon. Her parents sent the child away, not wanting something as terrifying to be part of the royal family. The baby grew up to be Discord, a wild creature of chaos. My favorite part of this was his little hooves. They're so small and adorable. Also, if you've noticed that I called uh, Celestia Queen, not Princess, I will get into that later. That's that's part of her redesign. You'll you'll hear about it. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I just like the what is it about the concept of just Celestia having children that is just amazing to me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Discord is Twilight's half sibling. If you aren't from my first video. Or haven't seen the first one, Twilight. I changed Twilight to be Celestia's daughter. So that makes Discord and Twilight half siblings. Yay, half sibling. The Cutie Mark Crusaders were so close to being my 13th reason. I had ideas and a color palette in mind for each one and what I wanted to do. But I just struggled so much, especially with Scootaloo. I changed his design twice. You will see it through this compilation of chaos. Uh, also, yes, I did say he. Uh, I changed Scoots into a little guy. Fight me. I changed his design halfway through. So, yeah, you're going you're gonna to see me change my mind. I'm going to design him and then I'm going to be like, nope, don't like that. Uh... 
which by the way, if you didn't see my first video, my redesign, uh, I changed Rarity and Fluttershy into guys, so I'll be referring to those characters as he, him. Just context so you're not confused. Um, I always liked the Cutie Mark Crusaders. They were really cute. I don't know. When I was a kid, especially, they were just adorable. Uh, I just didn't like when they gave them all the same Cutie Mark. Like, not really the same, but to me it was the same. Uh, I was just super disappointed. Because I really wanted them to have these characters each go on their own adventure and have their own sort of thing like I remember being hyped up when an episode was about them because I had so many theories about what their cutie marks would be I started with uh Sweetie Belle and changed up her design to match her older brother um in this alternate universe they're roughly everything is still the same uh she is Rarity's younger sister energetic and very very sweet um, she isn't very good at making clothing like her older brother, but she does have a talent in making plushies and dolls, which she discovered one day while trying to help Rarity make clothes. Sweetie gets distracted very easily and often gets lost from the other two, just due to wandering around. For Scootaloo's first concept, I made him match his older brother. Uh, and, and then I put Rainbow in his hair because, like, I'll get into that in a second, but I just, I just didn't like it. So I'm just going to skip him for now, and then I'm going to go on to talking about uh, Apple Bloom, uh, which Apple Bloom is, in this alternate universe, is Applejack's daughter. I just thought it'd be cuter that way. We get a lot of, like, sister and sister kind of bonding. I just wanted to see a daughter mother, and so I thought it'd be cute to have Apple Bloom as Applejack's daughter. Um, she tries to be the oldest and the wisest in the group, just like her mama, but she's actually the youngest and the most likely to end up in a dub situation because she thought she knew what she was doing. Um, she's determined to help and is to make sure when, like, she wants to make sure she's the perfect candidate to take over the farm once uh, Applejack retires, but her wanting to help so bad ends up being not helpful at all. And she causes chaotic messes that her mother has to fix. She's a tough kid and strong on that one. Uh, being able to lift both her friends on her back without breaking a sweat. Beefy child. So, in this one, Scootaloo is Fluttershy's younger brother. They are complete opposite of each other, however. While Fluttershy keeps to himself, good with animals, soft-spoken, and has a hard time standing up for himself, his little brother isn't. Scoots is loud, feisty, and isn't afraid to let the waiter know that his big brother's food is wrong. Uh, he also, uh, he's also really bad with animals. He ends up scaring them on accident. Uh, Scoot was born with bad wings, therefore he can't fly. But that just means he's very fast on his little legs. Uh, just like in the original series, he looks up to Rainbow Dash and often wishes he was his o she, she was his older sibling. I feel like those comments hurt Fluttershy and that adds a little more splice to the plot. Also, you can see where I'm trying to figure out if I want to redesign Sweetie Belle. I ended up just taking, like, going back to what I had because I like that one better. Uh, but yeah, I like messing around with concepts, and this is the second one I had, so. Yippee! Uh, I thought about these more, and I decided what cutie marks slash, like, career paths they would have. Uh, Sweetie Belle would have her own toy shop, Scoots would be a racehorse, or a race pony, I guess, and Apple Bloom would be a school teacher. Alright, on to Princess Or, and this are you, uh, <laughs> Queen Celestia. I never liked her OG design in the show. I don't know why. Just never appealed to me at all. I wanted her to have big hair, jewelry, and I guess more of a sun-themed palette with goldish colors and light browns. Um, so yeah, she's Queen Celestia now. I don't know why they called her a princess when she was clearly high up, higher up than that, but you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> this woman is, is tired. Tired and ready to retire. <laughs> She knows it's going to take a while for her daughter Twilight to earn the crown, but she can be heard mumbling, I can't wait to retire from time to time. She's gone completely blind from a fight uh, that happened before Twilight was born, having to be helped around when she's in new areas. Uh, she knows the castle by heart and has an excellent sense of hearing and smell. 
So if you hear me, which by the way, I got a new mic, which is just the headphone microphone. So it, it sounds better, I guess. But if you hear me trying to catch my breath or like sighing, it is because I don't normally talk this much. Like this is the most I've spoken just today. I, I'm normally not this talkative about things. So it takes me a minute to be like, oh, how do normal people do this? Whew, my lungs, my poor little baby lungs. And last but not least, my favorite character in the entire series was Princess Luna. Um, just, just like the, the first redesigns that I did, I ended up swapping his uh, sex to male. I just like doing it. Okay, let, let me do my thing. Um, <laughs> so this is Prince Luna. Celestia is the younger brother. Uh, poor guy, he's stuck in that emo phase he was in before he got zapped to the moon. I had the biggest crush on Luna when I was a kid. Nightmare Moon was just for me, you know? Uh, <laughs> he can come off as rude and spoiled and kind of a dick, but he's actually trying his best to adjust to the times. He's the one that helps Lissy around when they're out. She loves getting on his nerves by calling him baby names, and she helped raise him so she forever sees him as a baby brother. Even though he's a grown man now, he's a big boy. The original Luna was my favorite character, and now this redesign is my favorite among all of them. I love him so much. He's so cute. I just realized I started with my least favorite character and ended on my favorite. Dang, that must suck. Uh, thank you for watching this chaos filled video. I might do some screenshot re re redraws with my redesigns and maybe some OC doodles. That's right, I still have OCs. Boom, unexpected. Well, that's all. Uh, thanks for stopping by.